that it's crazy how much more can tenants in one park have to deal with. Melissa Lair lived through the summer without power at Canal Side in Lyons. Now it could be an autumn sands water. Uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but we kind of seen it coming. I just maybe we thought we had a little bit longer before it would happen. The Wayne County Water Authority says park owner Phil Provenzano has not paid the water bill. If he doesn't pay by October 29th, the water's getting cut. I'm not surprised. The owner's apparently been blocking most of the tenant's numbers, so we can't even call him. Lair's boys are preparing for no water. They say they don't want to take from someone else. It's going to dry my mouth. That we have to use somebody else's water. He's probably like stealing. I don't want to feel like that. Although repairs were made, there are now dangling wires from the electric job and massive craters left from the digging equipment. He told some of us that he wasn't going to do any more work here at the park. But the park problems don't end there. It stinks all over. Residents say raw sewage is in the middle of the park from ruptured connections, possibly disconnected during the electric work. It's human waste. You cannot say it's dog waste. You know it's human. I don't, I don't even let my animals out. No way. Like the summer, Lair and the park are facing uncertainty now as the weather grows colder. I don't know. The tenants have no idea. We're kind of just as lost as we were when the power was off.